program. My name is Lian. I am studying English at G5 School Class at AT Explore. This is TED Talks AT Explore. We are all different, and that's awesome. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you that it's okay to be different. Since a young age, I wore different colored socks and two different shoes. Why? Because I'm unique. Or stand out from the crowd. I feel best when I am being me. This summer, a funny thing happened. I was in the bookstore with my mom. When I am resigned, everyone was strictly quiet. And so I did that need to be done, and I started singing. As a joke, my mom put in a book and said, "Hey, Mia, this book is for you." I pull it out and read the cover. Hear what it said? Yo, well, a crazy journal of misfits, a boss, and anyone else who who you quality and awesome. It's the best book ever. It tell everyone it's cool to be different. Cool to be different. Today I'm going to tell you about friendship of mine. That is a little different than you might expect. This is one of my best friends, Stephen. He is the happiest person I know. Stephen was 44 years old and had autism. Let me start by explaining how we become special friends. When my mom was just 30 years old, she was in the high school cafeteria about. About to have lunch with her friends, then she passed the table of kids with special needs. Stephen was the boy at the table. He shouted out, "Hey, what's your name? Come sit with me." My mom sat down, and in that moment, a special friendship began. Stephen asked my mom three questions. He wanted to know what she was having for lunch. Her phone number and if they could be friends at forty years. As my mom gave him her phone number and said yes, he clapped with excitement and said, "I will call you every day." Ever since that day in nineteen eighties, he has kept his promise, promise and called our house every single day. When I was born, Stephen was a special part of our family, and I grew up calling him Uncle Stephen. Stephen is included in my family dinners. He comes to my soccer games. He loves watching movies with us, and every couple of week, he has a sleepover. My friend Stephen is not able to drive a car, but he is able to memorize every phone number he has ever held. There is no clue for autism, but I think Stephen is perfect the way he is. One of my favorite memories with Stephen is whenever the fire truck passes. He show out. When I grow up, I want to be a fire truck. That's always make me smile. He likes the idea of being a fireman, but he loves the idea of being a fire truck. Another thing that always make me laugh is how much he likes to eat. Have you ever met someone who can eat a steak, a slab pizza, French fries? Apple pie, ice cream, and they are still starving. What? Stem Stephen is all that almost every time we see him. Finally, one of my favorite memories with Stephen Stephen is when we play hide and seek. He always hide hides in the closet. I love playing hide and seek with Stephen. It always makes me smile. But not just me. He make everyone smile. I don't think we need a crew of artists. Just like we don't need a crew of freaklings. 
Autism is not a disease. Just like brown hair isn't a disease. You don't need to fix something that isn't broken. I look up to my uncle Stephen as he is the happiest person I know. Stephen doesn't try to be like anyone else. He is exactly who he wants to me to be. Imagine a world where we all live like Stephen. Find out what makes you different. Don't be afraid to stand out. Wake up, grab our bed, and be exactly who you are. We are all a little different, and that's awesome. Thank you. See you next time.